Hello and welcome back to Duke's Copy TV. Now it's been said that they're a girl's best friend, but are they an investor's? Yes, today we're talking diamonds and in the studio I'm joined by Caroline Schwab, the founder of B1 World Limited. Caroline, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for receiving me. Are diamonds being looked at as now as a form of investment because the economy being so weak, do you think? Yeah, this is one of uh, new opportunity, public new opportunity, but the I mean, the professional and the experts, they know about it a long time ago. Uh, of course, now the diamond is in an area that people are thinking it's around crime and many problems, but this is a very good a new asset for investment in the professional air arena of the finance and also for consumers and even indirect with brokers. So how can people go about putting their money in diamonds? Can they buy them directly? Yes, they can buy it directly from brokers, like uh, B1 World is one of the brokers of the company Waldman Diamond Group. It's a big, big wholesaler of diamonds. And they have very professional platform, especially made for the, this new uh, possibility to invest as a uh, consumer, as a normal consumer, not as a professional who needs, you know, Ralph uh, diamond for their own cuts or to to be sold in the jewelry arena. So one, one man uh, company is a company that is owning offices all around the world, and they they've been in contact with us, asking us to represent this new program. It is a very interesting program for anyone. If you want to get a diamond today, you can get it directly from the wholesaler at something like. 30% to 40% less than when you buy it in the market, in the stores. And do you think that the popularity of diamonds has gone up in the last few years? Yes, yes, because with the information, with you know, the democratization of the information in, in all the very, very uh, privileged financial areas like the gold, the diamond and you know, owners of mines. Now people know that it is not so connected to crimes. Everything can be connected to crime today, as we can see in the media. But the diamond is really an, an area of innovation. It is also traditional, you know, all this jewelry of kings and all these cycles of uh, creativity and beauty of the, the development of stones coming from the nature. Uh, this is a very, very interesting area. And do you think that diamonds would be viewed as a commodity? And do you think they will ever rival, say, gold? Yes, they can. They can get to be a rival of gold because gold is more volatile, because gold is uh, regulated. And then also in between all those regulations, people are trying to buy stocks of gold in making some discounts because they are going to order a lot. So there is a lot of traffic about gold, so that's why the, the market is more volatile than diamond because diamond is still privileged. It's still not so open to everyone. So it is the period now to invest in diamond. Of course, after it will be uh, harder. As you can see with the graph, we see that people are demanding now this market, especially China and India. They are expanding the market to more than 10 to 12 percent of the demand. And th this market is very stable still. There is no speculations because the, the professionals are proposing to be in the channel of this new investment. Well, Caroline, thank you very much for sharing your insights with us here in the Duke's Copy Studio. Thank you very much. That's all from us here in the studio. But if you want to keep updated on all the latest financial topics, just click back to the Duke's Copy website. Take care. <laughs> I'm <laughs> sorry.